Hey, what's up guys, Lovedate here and welcome back to another video. This video is a little bit, ignore that box. Uh, <laughs> this video is a little bit different, again, uh, like I said. Today I'm going to be showing off something I found out uh, a couple of couple of hours ago, been set, setting up ever since. Um, it's a thing called Touch Portal. Um, so I don't know if you've ever heard of a, an Elgato Stream Deck. Uh, this is basically that, but on your phone. And it's free. So there is a pro version that you can obviously get, um, I think it's like £9 along those lines, uh, for the pro version upgrade. Uh, the free version is kind of limited, you only get a certain amount of um, a certain amount of panels, so you get 16, so you get two pages with uh, four and then four, so you get four, four, and then another page, four, four, so you get eight on each screen. Uh, but anyway, enough of me talking about it, let me just show you uh, by pushing that button. Hey! So here we go, I have it here at the moment, um, showcasing what I have set up. So this is one of the default profiles um, that you can do, uh, and it's... Yeah, pretty pretty simple really. Um, so on the record button, it literally says if OBS record state is stopped, then press it and then start recording. If it isn't, then it will stop recording. It's pretty simple stuff. That's that was all preset on there. So the, this is, these are the ones that I've changed. So OBS scene selection full. So if I press uh, see on the screen here, if I press full, it will switch to that screen, which I think is really quite cool. Uh, screen. That's the one we want. Um, there are multiple uses for this, uh, obviously for me recording videos is quite handy to be able to have all this. Um, but what I do have, if you look just here, is if I press the eye racing, you've got these settings. So these settings I haven't mapped yet, so I thought we'll go through that together on this video. Um, but most of my controls are set on my wheel, so actually if I go back and go full, there we go. Most of my settings are set on the wheel. Um, so I couldn't really think of anything at the moment that I needed to add onto here. Um, but something I don't have set is uh, automatic text chats as well, as well as re resetting my head mounted display, which is my VR headset. Uh, I did have it before set to uh, gear 7 on my shifter. Uh, just every time I went into VR, I just put it into 7th gear and then that would reset. But it's nice having another button there. Uh, obviously you can set these things to whatever you want. You can set them to... Oops, excuse me. You can set them to uh, act, like, act like a button box, basically. Um, so like I said, there's only two rows of four. Um, but with the pro version, like I said, uh, you can unlock more tiles. I think you can have like 115 tiles on a page, like on a phone like this. I don't think you're ever going to see it. But anyway, um, so let's go back to the screen. So now the work of the main menu, I'm going to show you something really quickly. If I tap iRacing, and then what I have set up here is if I press this one, it will launch the iRacing website which I think is really quite cool. Um, so I just have to press one button, like, oh, I fancy playing iRacing. Boom, there we go, I'm on. Um, you can also set that for multiple different uh, programs as well, if you would like. Um, so yeah, that's that's really quite cool, I think. Um, anyway, so let's launch up a little test session and start matching these controls. I should probably mention really quickly how I've mounted this. Um, as you can see, this is just a bar that I put across. Uh, ignore the screw, this is coming coming out soon, but I only put it in there because I thought I could rest it in between, uh, but then I went out and bought some blue tack. So what I've done is I've literally just put my phone, oh hello, there we go, phone on there with some blue tack. So, boop, push it on slightly, and that is not going anywhere. Uh, this metal piece is actually from my old DT Omega. Uh, this was supposed to mount onto the uh, pedals or something, I can't remember, I never used it. Um, ended up using it, I think if you saw in another video, I used it to wedge myself uh, in between uh, in the back of my chair so it didn't roll backwards. Um, but there you go, that's that's what I'm using. Put this on, no wobble, but I've still got enough of give to be able to tuck it out of the way when I want to get out and then bring it back when I need it to be used, which I think is really quite cool. Alright, anyway, here we are. Options menu. Uh, let's exit the wizard. I haven't actually turned the wheel on. So we're doing this by this. Uh, I don't know, I keep looking at that camera like it's, it's this one. I'm looking at this one. Um, so yeah, let's go to controls. So I've got a button that says pit in, um, and that would be for me uh, declaring that I'm pitting, obviously. Um, and the way that I would do that is I would bind this button here as uh, the number one. So to do that, obviously, you want to not have this full screen. There we go. So you can see now this. So we click on pit in. And then you do input, key press, the number one, add, 
save. Right, so now if I go back into the game, let's close this. Hopefully, there you go, pitting in. That's really simple, right? So, what I'll do is I'll do that for most of these that I have. So I have thank you. Uh, oh, no, don't need to do that. Excuse me. Okay. Thank you is six. So we go on here. Go thanks. Key press six. Add save. Ah, so I've actually got mute already by bound. Um, I didn't realize that. So uh, I think I've got it onto this button here. So if that was something you wanted to add, you bind on your keyboard and then you bind it on the software itself. But you could also click that again, find a button you want to press. Let's say you wanted to bind it to, let's say, H. You you bind this as H and then you bind this as H on the, on the software itself, which I think, again, really simple, really, really simple. And there we go. So there, oh, I've just fucked up. I haven't and thank you look at that really simple stuff uh, obviously these can all be changed to multiple different settings in game so let's say you wanted to change uh, your oh, just get rid of them again should have turned my wheel on honestly um, you know, all of these settings uh, virtual mirror you can have it to hide your virtual mirror you can have it to hide multiple different things um, and obviously you can have multiple different pages within it so uh, on the pro version obviously um, I want to point out though, this isn't sponsored. This, no one's paying me for this. I just found it and thought it was pretty cool and I could use it for sim racing as well as recording. Um, so obviously you've got all your settings and then you can go from another page and then you've got more settings. You can add page within page within page. And uh, eventually you can have just a massive list of all the settings you could ever want. You can also change the scaling. Um, if I show you on here, you can do grid settings. So you can do five by five by four, then you've got five and then four down. And then you've got loads of settings. Obviously this is the free version. Um, and with the free version, obviously you're limited to the 4x2 grid uh, and two pages. If you upgrade, you then get unlimited pages. So I'm just showing you the free version today. Uh, I possibly might upgrade and see what I can do with it and see if I can add some more settings as well as using the settings on my wheel. But yeah, this is kind of like a weird kind of... Oh, hello. It's kind of a weird little thing that I found that just uses your phone. So, you know, it's, it's a way of using a bike, yeah, like having a button box without having a button box um, and can do near enough all the same things. Yeah, here we go. Here's the main screen, all the settings, all the things that I want to change. Mute my mic, mute my desktop, all that stuff. And then all the settings that we put in. So if we go back to screen, the settings we put in where we can, oh, hang on. Where we can Tell them to pass left, tell them to pass right, say thank you, and tell them we're going into the pits. That's what I needed it for because I didn't have any way of um, doing that on my wheel. And sometimes I just don't want to speak because I'm either recording or I just can't be bothered or my microphone's not, not set up. So I like having this. Again, like I said, you can have anything you want uh, within reason, obviously. As long as you bind it within the option settings, you can literally have whatever you want. Um, so you can have another menu here for uh, replays so let's say you, for me I would like that actually um, being able to press a menu and then going okay push this button for the next incident that would be really interesting for me for post-race incident reports <laughs> or as uh, Matt Malone calls it the turkey timeline um, but yeah then also other telemetry other um, bits in the game and then you can map it to or map those same controls for for different games as well or you can even set up your entirely new profiles with those games so you can have an iRacing folder like I have and then you can add um, let's say you wanted to add a new icon from a file uh, and Chris Hay has very kindly uploaded these images for free uh, for use and he has all the iRacing black boxes he also has the programs here so you can use um, these as like images these are these are designed for the the stream deck but i find that they work perfectly well with this as well but yeah like i said you can use these um, program icons just the same uh he's got all different colors all different settings and you can just use these and they'll just upload them and work so like i said like i'm showing here you just upload a file and then 
push the image you want and then open and then it will open up here. So I'll show you that on this one, iRacing. And then go down to change icon, from file, icons, programs, that one there, save. And you change the icon there and it will immediately change on here as well. Uh, if you, if you, or you can refresh it like that. All right, so that was a really quick little rundown. Um, I kind of didn't have a script. I just kind of wanted to show it off a little bit, um, doing a little bit of a weird video of uh, of just showing something off without really knowing what I'm showing off. It's really worth you checking out this program because it's, uh, it's it's quite versatile with how you use it. Uh, I barely know anything about it. I've literally just used it for the past half an hour. I've got it all working. And then I was going to show it and just be like, this is me using it and learning it at the same time. So yeah, like I said, it's free. Uh, you can download it, give it a go. Uh, there was an upgrade for it. Um, I think it's £9 to upgrade to uh, have more tiles and more features. Um, yeah, I'm not sponsored, not paid, nothing. Just found it, thought it was cool, thought I'd show you guys. So, uh, so yeah, if you like this video, give it a like. If you really like, subscribe and play with that notification bell and all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, give me a comment if you're going to use this or if you are just going to go go ahead and get a stream deck or a button box. Because um, I was thinking stream deck over a button box to give the versatility with the OBS usage. Uh, but now I've got this, I might not even have to get a stream deck. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. If you do want me to make another video of me uh, probably going in depth with all this, then uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll try and do that. But yeah. Cheers, guys.